Social media was abuzz today when iPhone users were able to access the Ministry of Health and Wellness's new app, a digital COVID-19 vaccination app. However, speculation was rife over whether this is a COVID passport, which a number of countries are piloting. For example, in New South Wales, Australia, 500 people are participating in a closed pilot, which involved clubs, facilities for the elderly and taxi cabs. The idea is for them to check into a venue or access public transportation while at the same time confirming their status. In India, a country with one of the world's largest populations, concerns are being raised as this passport launched in several developed countries is seen as another trade barrier. But here in Belize, iPhone users got a glimpse of the future. You enter your social security number, for example, your birth date, and then your name appears on the screen and whether you've received none, one, or both shots. A QR code is generated, likely to be scanned at various places to confirm your status as you enter. However, the Ministry of Health is saying that, quote, the information shared in that forum is unofficial and was leaked by persons at the ministry. The application is still in the trial phase and details for the launch of the Government of Belize digital COVID-19 vaccination app will be officially announced indicating that there are still some issues to iron out, including the inclusion of Android users. But is the passport really the answer? Depends on whom you ask. Human rights advocates in Australia criticize their country's passport plan as one way to, quote, discriminate against indigenous people, refugees, and a broad range of disadvantaged people because it could hamper access to key goods and services in exchange for full vaccination. For now, we know that in Belize, one is coming. Will these concerns be addressed or even raised? Government is expected to clarify as they get closer to a launch date. Dale McDougall, Love News.